the use of the term counties because it's reaching into smaller towns in uh, across the country, isn't it? It's not. It's, it's it's linked to market towns and villages, isn't it? Illegal drugs are everywhere. Mm. The length and breadth of the country, every town, village, hamlet, and city. And it was Albert Einstein that said the definition of madness is doing the same thing time and time and time again and expecting different results. And whilst the police are pretty good uh, enforcing the law with regards to drugs, and I'm delighted that they've seized 96 firearms in this investigation, that's a particularly high point for me. Mm. But in essence, for over 50 years, this is what we've been doing, the police. And nothing has changed. In fact, demand for drugs has grown. And there will never be a solution to this war because it cannot and will not be won. The demand for drugs will always be there because changing somebody's mental state is what makes us human. It's why people have two sugars in their tea. Oh. It's why people have a bar of chocolate, go to the gym, read a book, watch a movie because to change your mental state is what makes us human. Some people choose to do it through drugs. The demand is increasing year on year, year on year, despite all this law enforcement activity. So the only solution to reduce harm, to reduce the prison population, to earn billions and billions in revenue through taxes is to legalise and regulate the entire illegal drugs industry. Well, that, that's a very interesting point, and there's some agreement with you on the panel, <coughs> but just looking at these arrests, and I do just want to still try and get under the skin of how these county lines work. I just find it such an interesting subject. So 1,800, 1,800 suspected drug dealers were arrested. What I find extraordinary about this is 1,600 vulnerable individuals were being used or exploited by these gangs. Now, as a parent of three kids myself, I find that deeply worrying. What would... I mean, what does that look like? We hear about these vulnerable... Are they children? Are they adults? What does that actually look like? Yeah, and over 800 of those were children. Mm. And so much of this can start in the playground because a child who may be connected, parented, or a carer who is involved in criminality will say to a friend, can we use your bank account? to? Because we'll pay you some money, but we just want to pay some money through your bank account. In other words, launder money. And a child who's in the playground might happily do that for £10 or £20. Because they're a child pounds. and they don't, they don't have because the ability to make good decisions. So they're being exploited. They're not a criminal. They're a child that's being exploited. And out of that 1,600 figure that you mentioned, over 800 were children. So well done again, law enforcement, mm. from rescuing those children from exploitation. And then, of course, once they've laundered some money, then the next thing could be, can you deliver this package? Can you deliver this parcel? And so it goes on. And then young, unsuspecting children who have naively made a stupid decision find themselves sucked into criminality at a very serious level. And that's why I wanted Peter to explain to us what this county lines means, this catch-all terms, because it's absolutely chilling, I think, not just for parents but for everyone in the country, that now serious organised crime are exploiting our children in this way. And just finally on this issue of county lines, Peter, what should people be looking for at home to be concerned about whether their children may be being drawn into this web of criminality? Not only county lines, but sexual exploitation and more. Know what your children are doing. In other words, discipline them. Discipline is important. Don't worry, they won't fall out of love with you if you discipline them. Kids oh. like boundaries, they appreciate boundaries. It keeps them safe and secure. And in terms of keeping them safe and secure, know what they're doing. Who are they meeting? Where are they going? What are they accessing on their phone? Who are they speaking to? You're their okay. parent or their carer. So, you have so, the right so it's to got know. to know what your kids are to look.